Gaming masters, I think, aren't as risky as remaking a game since I think there's a lot less they can mess up. Since, you know, remakes might add or change elements of the original that really don't make sense their story wise, or gameplay style, or just anything else, because at that point it could feel like it's not the same game anymore. And while remasters have its own issues, it's not as major from what I've seen with remakes since for the most part a remaster is just bringing an old title to modern systems and making it sound and look kind of better. But with this video I just want to go a little bit more in depth to what I think makes a remaster or a port of a game worth it. And this video is kind of similar to another one I made talking about what makes a remake good and while some of the points might be similar since you know a remaster and remake you know are kind of similar but also different enough to make a separate video. So, you know, there's that. There's also going to be a few points here that are not the same, so also, you know, keep that in mind. And one thing I think makes a remaster good is obviously just update the visuals. But for this, it can either be done by just remaking all the assets like Ocarina of Time 3D or just upgrading the assets that are already there by up them. I don't mind either or since if it does something like Ocarina of Time 3D, the outside might not be to my taste. And in some cases, I just like how the original game looks, so either or is fine with me. I'm not saying that Ocarina of Time 3D has a bad outside, I just use that as an example. But even the other option might not be the greatest since textures could be blurry if not done right, like I've noticed with the PS1 Final Fantasy games. But as as long as it looks decent, I'm fine with it. And something else I think makes a remaster good is having quality of life features included in them. This is just because obviously when a game's been out for a good while, there could be some clunky aspects since especially with a lot of older titles like 3D ones, they just not might not play right or just have some stuff in it that really makes it weird. For example, when Maker HD has a faster sale for better traveling or something like SMT Nocturne where now you have the ability to choose skills to inherit. These help reduce time on certain parts of the game and kind of help you know increase the pacing in some parts which is always great. Obviously there's other stuff but I just used those as an example. And something I actually want to go over that shouldn't be in a remaster is to lock away these features through stupid means. While this only happened once recently with Skyrim HD, this is something I wish doesn't happen again. I say this because it wastes more money on the consumer side to get a feature that should have been in the game normally. And say in the future if the servers go down, if it's an update or like Skyrim HD, the amiibo could just go up in price so you're just out of luck if you don't pay that ridiculous price. Something else is kind of similar is not having a feature and then adding it later. And yes, I'm talking about Nocturne on this one because day one, they didn't have the ability to pick what skills to inherit. This is really annoying since if you don't have an internet connection, you're out of luck. And I don't like this since it kind of felt like they didn't consider it at launch and just felt, oh wait, yeah, we should add this. This stuff isn't exactly common for what I've seen, but I sure hope, again, it does not continue to happen. But let's move on to another aspect that I think makes a remaster good, and that's of course making it sound better. With mini remasters, I can understand just giving higher quality samples since, you know, it's not for remake. If they do have remixes and whatnot, that's great, but it's something I'm not expecting. And again, I know Nocturne HD doesn't do this, it just gave like the low quality PS2 sounds. I'm not sure if they upgrade that or not, but Again, just at the very least, you have higher quality sample. The next one really depends on the type of remaster and that's just having some settings you can mess around with. This is mostly just visual settings like the Castlevania Advance Collection and the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection and others like that. This I like because you know, in most cases you can just change how it looks, have borders and stuff and you can really just, you know, play how you want to with the visuals. Something else I think shouldn't be in a remaster is DLC of any sort since it kind of feels like if they spent a little bit more time on it, they could add it for free or it's just pointless. Again, bringing up Nocturne here, it does that where it adds Dante's DLC, adds some songs to it and adds some DLC where you can grind a little bit faster and it's also with DMC4 on PC and on the last gen consoles. That one's a little bit weird since, you know, it's pretty much just you gain orbs and stuff, which to me is pretty pointless since you can get a lot of the orbs in game really easily. It's most likely done for money, yeah, I admit, but it still feels a little bit scummy. And something else I think a remaster could, you know, possibly do, and I think it's good to do it, is having any content that was in a previous version, or say for one region only. For example, Final Fantasy X on Steam, and I guess on PS4 and Switch and other consoles, it has Final Fantasy X 2 and a few other additions that makes the HD port really nice to get if you haven't gone already. There's also more examples of this, but having all the content in previous versions and again, what I also said before, it's always good since it makes the remaster complete. 
I don't mind if they don't add new content since, you know, it's just a remaster and that's not something I'm expecting, but of course if they add it, that's always great. And overall, this is what I think can make a remaster really good and what can make one kind of sucky. I also feel these are as tricky as remakes only because there shouldn't really be much that a change. But these can also go really wrong, mostly in the visual aspect and how the game runs. And the latter, I've always seen a small amount of times, admittedly with Nocturne HD on launch and Chrono Cars from what I've seen of like some videos here and there. And well, this might not ruin the game since, you know, they are already loved. It can kind of just ruin the hype for some people, like when I saw all the shit that happened on Octone HD. But yeah, they can fix this stuff later. It just makes you wonder why they just didn't delay it because, you know, it obviously could have been better. But in the end, remasters can be a good way to obviously play a lot of older games since obviously not a lot of people could have the system growing up or just have the game because it could be rare or whatever other dumb reasons. But now I want to hear what you guys think makes a good remaster, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, sub, and follow my Twitter, which is linked down below. And see you guys later.